Greetings, Mechaneers. It has been so long. My humble, humble apologies. Those of you who have watched the series uh, know that I was trying to, I kept saying that I'm going to do Sloppy Joes. It has not happened. However, I do work in London and I kept walking past shops that were selling American candy. So that's what we're going to do today. American candy. Let's get into it. Here we are. I've got stuff. Two of these items I've heard of before, one I haven't. Let me show you what I've got. Tootsie Roll. I, I have no idea what this is. And I've looked at the ingredients and it's sugar and corn syrup and palm oil and skimmed milk. It looks like, like caramel or something. Okay. It smells just kind of weird, like, like slightly old cardboard, probably because there's a cardboard bit as well. So I'm gonna try this Tootsie Roll. Guys in the comments, tell me, you know, is this a, is this a beloved candy bar in America? Is it like, meh, not really fast? I do want to know what the deal is with these. Okay, so it's quite hard. So, um, mm, so it's kind of, it's kind of a, a cross between fudge and caramel, I suppose, but not as good as either. It's not unpleasant, it just doesn't really taste as much. I can see that younger children might really like it because it's quite simple. I mean, it's not blowing me away. Tootsie Roll, kind of a, Next, Butterfinger. I have heard of this. Looks quite nice, I like peanut butter. It says it's crispity and crunchity, making up words. Can I just talk about the elephant in the room, the chocolate elephant in the room? I may be biased, but I think in general, Europe, Britain, France, Belgium, they're pretty good at their chocolate, okay? European chocolate, especially Belgian chocolate, super good. The American chocolate that I've tried in the past, I've only tried the basics, guys. I have not liked because, I mean, there's that whole thing with Hershey's, isn't there? They're using slightly sour milk, which then as a, was that like an apocryphal story that, that it was a sort of accident, but then people quite like the taste of it and that's what they do now. So when me and my wife have had Hershey's, we're like, it just tastes of vomit. It tastes of like sour, sick. It's not very nice. I'm sure there's some lovely American chocolates, but as the general, I've never been great keen on American chocolate. So this is covered in it. So we have Butterfinger. Smells like peanut butter, always a good start. Mm. Oh, it's crunchy, like, um, a bit like honeycomb, but softer. Oh, I really like in the peanut butter flavor. Chocolate's fine, the chocolate in, in this is probably, I mean, is it even real chocolate or is it just, Made in the USA, it says, with globally sourced ingredients. <laughs> That's hilarious. This day and age, it's all about locally sourced, isn't it? On every bit of food you see, oh, so it's made with local ingredients. The USA's like, yeah, we get it from all over the world. Perfectly fine though, Butterfinger, I'd go for that. That's, that's nice, it's nice in the Tootsie Roll. Moon pie. I have never heard of this in my life. Is this common in the States? Is this something that, people eat or is this uh, American people watching this going what the heck is that where did he get it from moon pie banana flavor I like banana it kind of looks horrible though and I don't know how long it's been sat on the shelf in the shop I bought it from um, moon pie banana flavor there were different flavors so it looks like like patties with stuff in between <laughs> it smells fairly horrible there's an underlying smell of banana and then on top it's like I know like tallow, like some kind of some kind of dead cow thing going on. It's maybe not what they wanted to go for. Let's have a look at it. So it's it almost looks like a pancake stack with a sort of yellowy chocolate coating and then something I'm just gonna go for a big bite, I don't know. Wow, that's an experience. Uh, it's very dry, 
even though it's got the stuff in between, it tastes, it tastes like sort of attic dust. It vaguely tastes of banana, but the most fake kind of banana taste that you could ever get. I'm going in again, I don't know why. Um, no, it's like, um, it's like a sort of layered cake made from blitzed up hamster bedding and generally just really horrible. So that <laughs> moon pie can do one. Attic dust, hamster bedding, <laughs> bit of water, <laughs> layers, let's put some stuff in between, tiling grout. Package it all up. Oh, banana, quick, we need some banana flavouring. Let's get this fake. <laughs> Package it all up there. Horrible, horrible. However, guys, what I want to ask you is, if there is American candy that you guys love, or if there is American candy that is generally accepted to actually be really good, a really good example, do let me know in the comments, because I'd love to try that as well. Next video, I have no idea, I haven't even thought about it. Please give me some ideas, something that's easy. I'm happy to do a little bit of making, but not crazy, crazy cooking, because I just, I just don't have the time to do it at the moment. Thank you very much. Uh, American candy, interesting. That's my result. Captain Mech, out. <laughs>